Uh, the, the background is that uh, kidney cancer accounts for 5 and 3% of all cancers in men and women respectively and 20% of these patients have a, met a, metastatic, a metastatic disease, a diagnosis. So um, the standard of care for these patients was to propose an nephrectomy followed by sunidinib. But the question and the role of nephrectomy is real. And we decided to perform this study to put this very simple question. Is it still necessary to make an nephrectomy for this patient with synchronous metastatic kidney cancer? And this was for patients with the score of 0 to 1, yes? Yes, so we make uh, this study. The study was a prospective phase 3 academic randomized non-inferiority study. We included 450 patients in two arms. The first arm was arm A, the standard of care, nephrectomy plus sunitinib, and we include 226 patients in this arm uh, against the, the, the arm B, which was the experimental arm treated with sunitinib alone for 224 patients. Patients were randomized one per one, but there was a stratification according to the MSKCC risk groups in two groups, uh, intermediate risk groups and poor risk groups. There was no good risk groups because by definition, these patients were excluded from this group because they have a synchronous metastatic kidney cancer. And how did the results turn out? <laughs> the results are concerning the primary endpoint, which was the overall survival. The results are that um, Median overall survival was higher in arm B, Sanadini balloon, 18.4 months, versus arm A, nephrectomy plus Sanadinib, 13.9 months. So the conclusion of the study is that Sanadini balloon is not inferior to treatment uh, to the standard of care nephrectomy plus Sanadinib, according to the OS, in both intermediate and poor risk groups. And considering the recent changes in renal cancer care with the availability of cabozantinib and immune agents, would you say this means that sunitinib is better than su surgery and sunitinib, or that surgery with another agent is yes. less good than other treatments? Yes, it's a very good question. Um, I think that from a strictly scientific point of view, it will be necessary to make another study. You come in abyss, okay. But I think that from a clinical point of view, when we're discussing with the basic scientist or the immunologist, it seems that they're, they're all very interest, interested in, in interaction between the primary tumor and these new drugs. And it seems that it could be not necessarily ready to make a nephrectomy. And because these drugs are very efficient, I think the new paradigm could be to make a, a systemic therapy first, and to see what happens, as it is done by a lot of tumors. And if there is a complete or a near complete response, we can decide to make a secondary nephrectomy. It was exactly the, the case in Carmena study for 38 patients. We treated the patients, and because there are very good response, we make a secondary nephrectomy. It will be exactly the same for uh, the, the patients with these new drugs. I know you, you think it's very important to. To, to be sure that when you are doing a nephrectomy, which is sometimes a difficult nephrectomy, I think it's very important to be sure that we are, are helpful for the patients. If we are not, we don't have to make a nephrectomy, that's absolutely sure.